Hey, Ag Teacher Thoughts here coming at you with another video. We're going to start a little bit of a series on some projects that we're working in in the shop. Now, I teach an ag fabrication class, and in that, uh, the spirit behind the class is that we're supposed to be manufacturing agriculture equipment and maintaining agricultural equipment. Well, in our shop, it's fairly tight space. I don't have a spot to bring in a tractor for us to work on. And most of the equipment here, working these large fields, is pretty good size, and I don't think it'll fit through our roll-up door. So since part of the class is about fabrication and building agricultural equipment, I decided that the best thing for us is something that is going to be right up the alley of all of our students, and we're gonna be making cycle carts. Now, cycle carts are a uh, basically an oversized go-kart. So you're making a go-kart that's less than eight feet long, but when you build it, the idea is that the spirit of the cart is that it should reflect a race car from the 1920s or 1930s. So that's the, the era of these really bizarre race cars and they can be really, really cool. So uh, at my last school, I started doing uh, cycle carts and with those, we, um, we themed our carts after different trades. So the one that we were able to uh, work on while we were there was one that was based on a uh, uh, HVAC or heating, air conditioning, and ventilation. Um, so all of the body work on that was built just as if we were doing HVAC duct work. So on this, we haven't picked a theme for it yet. Um, we're still working on the body. Um, and we're using this nifty uh, weld jig table that we got as a part of a grant. Um, so we're using it for not only our blacksmithing, which is what we got it for the grant for, but since we have the equipment, we're utilizing it for other stuff and it's just perfect for laying out frames for go-karts. Uh, so let me show you a little bit about what's going on. We'll get a nice overhead view of this. So right in here is our front axle, and uh, that is clamped down in the middle of the chassis that we're building. Uh, so one of the things that you'll notice here is every piece is clamped down with a clamp that is seated in one of these holes. Now this is a professional style, style, uh, style welding jig table. And these clamps have a piece that inserts into there. So it inserts into the one of the holes. And then when you clamp this in, it puts back pressure and cam locks that in. So all of our parts are seated on standoffs so that we can have space underneath and then above every standoff is one of these clamps. Now, this is exactly what you would do if you were in a fabrication shop. So you would have a welding jig table and you would design your custom jig to fit what it is that you are building. So in this case, we are building cycle carts. So we have this all set up here. This is a one inch by two inch uh, square tubing frame. This is our frame that is designed to be super robust. Uh, and it's going to hold uh, a lot of weight, um, so we can be pretty rugged. Um, yeah, so it can it can hold everybody from uh, a football player uh, to even some of our, our younger, smaller students. So it's designed to be pretty rugged. Um, so they are working to build all this um, and other things, is we do have our plasma table up and running. And so in addition to building uh, the chassis and the axle, they're building all of the brackets uh, using CAD software that are going to go on this part. So this one right in through here is where our leaf spring is going to fit. And then this piece right here tucks right under that, that uh, axle right there. So they're building all of the brackets that we need. Uh, this is where our spring is going to attach in the front. And I think that's what we've got here. Oh, we've got our gussets. So our gussets, they've all been tacked in here. So they're designing all of those gusset brackets. And this will have a final weld on it tomorrow. So yeah, this is a welding jig table. And this is the chassis that we are working on. Now we do have one other. So we'll walk back there. So this is our other frame. This one's a little bit lighter weight. Uh, this is one that we uh, have done a little bit of remodeling on. So there's the front end. Uh, this is parts of our steering. And this is our axle that we were working on. 
this is our rack and pinion that came off of an old go-kart. Here's our brake cylinder. Um, these axles, this is actually a mock-up of what we're going to be doing um, up there. So those other brackets that you saw would sit down like right here. And this is a stand-in for one of our leaf springs. And this is a stand-in for one of the axles. So the students got to look at this and uh, figure it out for their their cycle cart of how they needed to design this. Now this isn't the final uh, the final hardware. Uh, we actually need some different bolts from that. But that's going to be how they're going to connect their front axles to the springs. Uh, coming back here. Yep. We are using a true temple temper wheelbarrow uh, body for our seating area. Uh, and we've got to come in and this is all got to be polished up and then we've got to put guards on there. Going to clean this all up. I'm going to fix the sheet metal down there. And then we're coming back here. Um, there's two more sports that are going to go through here. That steel will arrive tomorrow. Uh, we've got our gussets all welded in. Uh, this is our rear drive axle. So we've got that. And then we have our CVT transmission and all of its lovely parts here. Um, this I actually got secondhand. So this is something I ran, I ran from our little town all the way up to Spokane. So about two hours uh, to get all of this uh, material. I picked it up on a weekend um, at a super discount rate. But this is all for our engine. So our engine's going to mount here. This is probably going to have to go a little bit further that that way. Uh, but there we go. There is our back frame. Um, and we were wanting a trapezoidal frame, but we did have to do some uh, changes to that because when I bought uh, this, and it came with all the parts, which is really awesome. Um, they're a little lighter duty than I wanted, but we're going to go easy on this one. This is kind of be our show cart when we're done. Um, but this one, um, we're rebuilding a frame in here that's the main structure, and this is just for the outer body. Uh, but this is only a 29-inch axle, so that uh, that made us change what we were doing. Uh, but anyway, let's get back here. So this is to kind of mimic a uh, Ford Model T kind of bucket roadster. And yes... My students want to paint this pink, uh, and I told them they can have it any other, any color they want as long as it's black. Uh, but they did also insist that, yes, uh, we are going to get uh, some vinyl done that say True Temper on there, and we will put that back on it when it's finished. So let's go, let's go back over here. So these are our plates, and that plate is going to mount under that axle like that with the, it's going to be a flat bottom U-bolts that we're going to put over the top of that, but they're going to go there. Uh, and then our leaf spring is going to run right through here. Uh, of course, this stand in is only inch by inch and our axle is inch by two inch. Uh, so with this, um, this was actually one of their assignments that they had. Um, they had to do all of the math to make sure that when they were finished designing this part, that there was one inch between the wall of this hole and the wall of that hole, and there was one inch between the wall of this hole and the, or excuse me, an inch and a quarter, one inch 250 between this wall and that wall. So our leaf springs are an inch and a quarter wide, but our axle is only an inch. So they had to do all the math and all the measuring to figure that out to make sure that that part was done correctly. And that's that's really what they're going to be doing with all of that is they are given a task um, 